All right, guys, almost done here. Almost done. We just now need to compare two dot plots side by side and just answer some questions about them. Uh, so looking at these two classes, I've got class A and class B quiz scores. Um, who do you think performed better? Well, visually, it kind of seems obvious. It looks like over here in class B, we have a lot of students performing better than where the majority of these students are, and it's just slightly higher up to the five and six range over here in class B, but in class A, we're kind of sitting with the majority of our students between a score of three or four. So visually, this is actually not a hard question to answer. Um, not all dot plots are going to be this easy to read, though, as you'll see in your activity to come. Some of them are going to look really close to each other. All right, so who did score better, and how do we know that? Well, we can compare mean, median, mode, and range together. Uh, specifically, we can probably just stick with the mean and the median. Uh, the modes are really easy to see here. Uh, the mode for class A is 3 and 4. Uh, the modes for class B is 5 and 6. No, that's not your bill. So which class did better? Well, let's do this. Let's find the mean and the, and the median for each of these classes. So I'll do class A in red and then do class B in blue. Let me scroll up a little bit here. I'm going to need to get this data. I'm going to work on class A first, and then we'll go back through and work on class B. Of course, I'm going to use my calculator because it's going to calculate that data really easy for me. And this does take some time to enter in the data, but uh, it's a lot faster. We could sit here and try to find the mean and the median by hand, uh, but it'd probably be a really good idea to try to do this just with our calculator. Uh, let's go into our list and start entering it in. Okay. Uh, enter all this data. This is going to be three ones. We've got four twos, one, two, three, four, enter, okay, good, one, two, three, four, five, six threes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, see, I've already messed up, I started hitting six, not three, I want six threes, so one, two, three, four, five, six threes there, and just to make sure I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, good. I also have six fours, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure I've got six of those, looks good, and looks good. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five fives, one, two, three, four, five, and I've got three sixes. One, two, and three sixes there. All right, I should have a total of 27 data points. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I'm pretty confident these are the right answers. I'm just going to kind of scan back through here. Let's see here. Fours. I've got six of those. Six threes. Three ones. That yep, looks good. So now we're going to go do that uh, calculating of the stats. So second list over to calc and hit one bar stats. Looks like my mean is 3.56 if we're rounding. So 3.56 here. And the median is, scroll down, median is Four, and that kind of makes sense. You think that the median would be right here between three and four, um, but if we were actually crossing these out, and I went one, and I started crossing out from the top here, right? And cross out to actually identify this. Going from here, here, here oh, oops, here and. Here, here, and here, here, and here, here, and here. Hmm. So it looks like uh, the median is probably going to be four because I missed this one right here. So uh, actually, means I have to mark. Let's double check that. So it looks like our halfway points here. Let's 
count all those really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I should also have 13 on the other side. I'll circle those in green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so it does look like the median is 4. Plus, I can just trust my calculator on that as long as I know that I've entered in my data. So now we want to compare class A to class B. So now I have to go do the same thing for class B. I'm actually going to put all that information in now to make this video a little bit quicker. You should know how to type that into your calculator by now. All right, so I've gone ahead and just uh, entered in all my data here. I know that was quick. You're probably wondering how did I did that. I cleared my calculator, went back to list, and entered in all my data from class B into list one. So I got the one, the two, I've got the two threes, I've got five fours, I've got six fives, and I've got six sixes. Okay, so there's my list. Now I just got to go and calculate those stats. So second list, to go into stats, go over to calc and then run the one bar stats. Looks like the mean is 4.52 and the median is 5. Okay, so now we can compare these two data here. Whether we're comparing means because we don't have any extreme values or if we're com comparing medians if we did have extreme values. Either way we look at it, class B is on average, they're doing better. Both measures of center are higher in class B than in class A. So we can definitely justify saying that class B uh, did better. All right, so you can take a look at these two companies, Company A and Company B, and their monthly earnings uh, for thousands of dollars anyway. So Company A here, this is a $50,000, $51,000, $52,000. It's labeled as in thousands. Same thing over here. Uh, so which company seems to be doing better? Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Uh, you can make a, a guess at the beginning and say maybe that Company B did better, or maybe you think Company A did better. Um, but prove it to me. Find the, median, the mean and the median of each of these data, then compare them, and then let's see what you guys get. Go ahead and pause the video, and let's go from there. All right, so comparing these two data, you should have had enough time to do that now. Hopefully you did that in your notes. Make sure you guys um, just mark any mistakes that you've made. Uh, I've already computed the data for these two, so if you didn't get the same numbers as I did, you probably either entered it in wrong or... Uh, just, it's, it could have been just a small mistake. So let's compare these two data. For me, I got company A with a mean of 52.3 and a median of 52. Uh, company B, the mean was 52.75 and the median was 53. So you can kind of see, comparing the mean, the company B is just slightly larger. Um, and then for the median, uh, company B is also slightly larger by one, but that's going to be $1,000 we're talking about. So we can definitely tell that company B is doing better, but not by much. So company B definitely makes more money. All right, guys, that's our last example for the video. Uh, there are two more examples following this one about comparing dot plots. Do those to the best of your ability. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask uh, the teacher in the room.